Should I visit Cuba? <laughs> wow, what a history. Uh, Cuba, a long time Spanish colony until it was lost to the uh, USA in the Spanish-American War. That was in 1898. The Americans then tried to make it into a democracy. Uh, that gave way to a dictatorship. It was a coup under Fulgencio Batista. And he was so corrupt that that led to the Castro Revolution in 1959. Under Castro, it became a communist state and developed a relationship with the Soviet Union, which of course America saw as a threat. Uh, that led to the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. The regime uh, was and still is a police state. As a result of that, many Cubans uh, fled to Florida. They seem to run Miami now. Uh, Castro died a few years ago, but it's still run by his brother, which thus preserving the authoritarian atmosphere. Although quite capable uh, militarily and medically, uh, it's basically been an economic failure. And after the Soviet uh, Union dissolved, they were no longer willing to subsidize it. So that they're, they're in a mess. So that's where we are. But is it worth visiting? Well, I look at both sides. Uh, some would say, yes, definitely worth visiting. Uh, the old town, Havana Vieja, has wonderful character, traditional architectural, historic atmosphere, all that kind of thing. It's a world heritage site, uh, a must-see, really. Uh, there's marvelous sport which you can watch, especially, uh, especially baseball, but basketball, soccer, and it can be attended for a pittance. Uh, other art, outdoor activities are attractive uh, for, the, for the so inclined. Uh, worthwhile are activities like scuba diving, fishing, hiking, cycling. The active tourists would like it. You might have to do a bit of advanced planning to take advantage of some of these opportunities, but uh, there's good stuff there. If you're a cigar smoker, uh, well, as we all know, the finest products of this kind in the world are made in Cuba. And the prices, of course, are far less than you would pay elsewhere. So there, there's a real uh, bargain opportunity and a <laughs> smoking opportunity. And as in our, any Caribbean location, there are excellent uh, beaches without crowds, a real treat for the sunbathers. Cuban music has a special quality and identity of its own. Some people travel long distances just simply to hear it. So. It's highly recommended and, and great fun. All in all, it's a great place to visit. Well, now, what about those who say, no, 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 you gotta be very careful, probably avoid it. Why, why would they say that? Well, first of all, despite a recent move toward more kind of modernization and an effort, of course, to attract tourists, Cuba is still a communist country and a police state. O old habits die hard. It would be unwise, for example, to get in any kind of political discussion with anybody, and it might even be called in for questioning. You know, quite an unpleasant experience and, and really best avoided. The, uh, that kind of repression by the regime can have an effect on innocent tourist activity. It's illegal to take uh, photos of police or soldiers in Cuba. You might, you might get away with it, but if you get caught, uh, it could be trouble. You could be accused of espionage. Um, there are serious shortages of many consumer goods in Cuba, so make sure you bring everything you need with you. You might struggle to find toothpaste and shampoo and even toilet paper. Uh, food, I'm afraid, is not one of the highlights. It's pretty much uh, peasant fare. There, there, there's little choice mainly consists of meat, fish, rice, beans, seasonal vegetables, fruits. So it, it's not for the foodies. For some, of course, that sounds great. Sounds pretty good to me. Although, uh, admittedly, having some interesting tourist attractions, Cuba is a failed economy and a, and a police state. For, for many, that could lead to a, a potentially unpleasant tourist experience. Think twice before traveling to this place. Well, uh, what's my take? Well, I think for many, the message is by all means go, but observe the rules. Uh, the best way to stay safe uh, in a place like this is to do a package deal. That way your tour leader and organizer can steer you in the right direction. And by the way, don't forget your tourist visa. 
in my view, it's a tourist destination for the more adventurous. Uh, those like me who want a comfortable and hassle-free experience would be well, invested, well, well advised to avoid it. That's how I come out. I hope you liked it. And uh, in any case, uh, if you want to look at some similar stories, take a look, uh, take a look at these other videos. Thanks a lot. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.